One of the most emotional WCW moments actually didn't even take place on television. Kurt Hennig, also known as Mr. Perfect, was interviewed on the WCW website when they tried to get ahead of the curb by having online coverage towards the end years with the internet growing. The timing of the interview came after Hennig's close friend Rick Rude passed away. Hennig would rant about WCW wrestlers since very few showed up to Rude's funeral after all his years working with just about everyone at some point. This unscripted moment saw the real emotional side of Hennig coming out. Now a fella, come on over here Kurt Henning. A fellow with a title shot a little bit later, this time for the TV title, Kurt Henning. Uh, we've seen over the last few weeks a lot of interference by the, on the part of Stevie Ray with Booker T. You have a match, of course, against Booker T. Does that concern you in any ways? Well, it certainly concerns me. I mean, uh, Booker T, uh, you know why Booker T's brother had to come out there? Because Booker T's not the athlete that Kurt Hennig is. There's not a wrestler in wrestling today that is a great athlete, all-around athlete. Booker T's problem, I hear the announcers always say, he's a great athlete. Oh, this guy can do anything. I can beat Booker T at anything that he can do. That's what his problem is. It's not mine. As far as his brother goes, I've got my back. I know what's going on. Well, you certainly know what you're uh, in for. Uh, if I can bring it down for just a second, we just have a little bit of time. Condolences to the loss of a very good friend of yours and ours, Rick Rude. How did you find out about it? What's the last couple of weeks been like for you and, and your relationship with the family? Well, I don't believe that's anybody's business. You know what really burns my ass? So the people that live in that Atlanta area, the people that Rick Rude made a lot of money for, the people that knew Rick Rude that didn't show up to his funeral, the stuff like that. You know what? It's real enough something for frustration. It's a frustration that only I can control. I'm telling you right now, uh, wrestling lost one of his greatest athletes from now. One of his best money makers, and um, then I lost my best friend. Please. We'll see what happens. In the next couple of weeks, you're going to see a new Kurt Henning because I think this uh, should be a wake-up call for a lot of people, and I think it, uh, it certainly was one for me. And uh, Mike condolences to his family and his wife, and uh, Rick knows the way I felt about him, and uh, what else could be said? And talk about the great equalizer and how everything so, seems so less important in the light of something like this. And, uh, and uh, you know, we, our best wishes are with you. Let me tell you this. Next time you want to do an interview with me, you come and ask me first. Kurt Henning, let's go back tonight.